Wanna help you down and I'm still driving this 306 I thought by now I'd upgrade put it on my plastic. Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel today um, I'm going to be filming a really highly requested video which is what to do to prepare to go back to uni um, I know a lot of you are stuck in lockdown at the moment and you want to like do stuff to prepare for uni um, in all honesty and I you if you follow me on Instagram, you follow me anyway, you know that what I try to do more than anything is to just give a really honest portrayal, my honest opinion about everything. Um, and what I'd honestly say is relax. So my first literal tip is to get some sleep. Make the most of your lions, make the most of your stress-free sleeping days, because you've obviously got your offers. You know that you're going to start uni at some point. So make sure you get your full 8, 10, 12, 14, how many hours of sleep you want to get in. Relax and make the most of that comfy thing over there because once you start the degree, just your relationship will come under some strain. So yeah, relax. Don't stress. This is your literal last time to chill. Um, yeah, that's number one. Number two is follow Shea Midwives on Instagram. Um, I'm not being biased, but I think we're all pretty cool. Um, but it just gives you a good idea of what other people are doing, keeps you motivated in those times and also it will give you a good idea of what it's going to be like when you start if you follow them now before you start, you know. So yeah, find ones who may be starting the same year as you, find them from other years, see what they were up to when you were starting, just get some inspiration from there, let the creativity flow, start your own account. If that's something you want to do, join us. We're getting, we're, there's so many of us now which is really fun so join us and the third one let's get to know your cohort so i had a facebook group with my cohort on so we're all like chat and you could see everyone before you started which was really nice because we're going to be spending the next three years with these people so get to know them link them on facebook if someone hasn't already started a facebook group start a facebook group link with them chat share your worries and your fears and like sort each other out you know the fourth one don't buy things you don't need things um i'm gonna either link a blog post that I made or an Instagram post I'm going to do about things you actually need to buy um, you don't need a stethoscope you don't need a hundred books you don't need all of that stuff um, I buy things as and when books 100% you don't need to buy even if there's a reading list like unless you're someone who really feels like they need a physical book right now to read that's cool um, but when you start uni you'll have access to the library and online book resources so don't waste your money there because they'll be given to you for free and um, things like self-scopes you never need them I bought one last year or I got one for my birthday last year because I was meant to be going case loading which isn't happening now and the last um, midwives that I worked with they wanted me to have my own self-scope and I had a cheap one at home which I bought in first year um, which I literally never used until that point so check with your placement place but to be honest because of corona you won't be going out to place them who knows when um which is a bit mad so don't buy things like don't buy shoes yet either um take your time obviously if you've already got all these things you've already got all these things they're not going to go to waste you'll eventually need them but you know i know what it's like to like not have like a big bulk of money all at once and when you don't need all of those things on day one so buy them as and when you need them and save your money and like be sensible with it like you're starting a midwifery degree but you don't need all the gear because you literally have no idea yet and no one expects you to have any idea yet and that's why I'm not encouraging you to like read everything like at the moment because you don't have a strict like curriculum you don't have to do anything read things you're interested in and my best advice would be the covid guidelines um, and just anything else you're interested in to do with midwifery current news old things midwifery history like practices to do with normal birth everything normal keep things nice and normal at the moment unless you particularly see something interesting but don't put any pressure on yourself you don't need that yet that stuff is going to hit you in september and last for a real long time after that so take this last moment to just cherish every minute and learn what you want to learn be curious be interested be creative do some artwork do some drawing hang with friends and use this time to allow yourself to relax i think we all need to hear that because that's what i've been doing obviously i've been doing my work but I've always been making sure I'm creative and I hang out with friends but I remember before I started I was itching to do stuff and we had some pre-session work so if you've got pre-session work do that but funny enough I didn't actually do it but I was itching to do work but I still didn't do that but I'm more of a creative thinker so I made my Instagram I made a blog I revised what I'd learned previously and 
that would help me like my biology and stuff but yeah just don't put pressure on yourself to be doing anything right now chill sleep enjoy your family time because that's gonna become a lot less as well once you start and just have fun but yeah just keep curious that was all i would say so you can dm me and say um excuse me this was terrible advice because um i feel like i should just be learning all the time cool if you're that person who loves to learn all the time honestly i envy you um but yeah do what you want chill and enjoy your time off and this is me giving you my permission to not feel stressed i hope you enjoyed this really short video and i hope you're having a good time in lockdown lots of love